Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Let us learn how to do binary addition. Now this is base two, ready, let's begin. So when we say a zero plus a zero, well, that is a zero. Now a zero plus a one is one, and a one plus a zero is one. Now this is where it gets tricky. So remember, we are doing base two. So a one plus a one, we know that's two, but the largest value that we can put in this column is a one, but watch this trick. So what we say is a one and a one is a two. So I'm just gonna write this down temporarily, and that's two plus a zero. And then what we do is every time that we have a base, we have to carry it over to the next column. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this two and we're gonna carry it over. But when we carry it over, we drop it into this next, we just say one. So now notice that we just have the zero here and we bring down the zero. And notice this column only has one, so that's one plus nothing, so that would be one. Now the answer to this problem is one, zero, one, one, zero. Now let's figure out if this is the correct answer. So here you can see I have a eight, a four. Well, eight plus four is a 12. And then you have a eight and a two is 10. And we can easily see that's 22. And now our answer is a 16 plus a four, that's 20, plus a two is 22. And does that equal that? Yes. That's the first problem all done. Now in our second question, I'm actually gonna perform it twice. The first time I'm gonna go slow, and the next time I'm gonna do it the way I normally do it, which is a little faster, and I don't have to do all that artwork, okay? So let's begin with just starting at the right, and we're gonna work our way to the left. So a one plus a one is a two. Well, we know what to do there, so we say two plus a zero. Now the zero comes down, so this column evaluates to zero. Now what do we do with this two? Well, we have to carry that. So we bring it up into this column and that two, when we carry, becomes a one. So a zero with a one carry. Now we have three. Well, a three is a two plus a one. So the one comes down. You say, oh, I just take this one down. And now what are we gonna do with this two? Well, we're gonna carry that. So the carry comes up into this column and we put a one here. Then we cross this out. Now we have two. We know that is the same as this. It's a two plus a zero. The zero comes down and the carry this over, which becomes a one. Then we have three. Three is two plus one. One comes down and two carry. So now we have a two. So that's a two plus zero and zero comes down and carry our one, right? Gotta carry this. And we have another two plus zero, see one, two, two plus zero, and zero comes down, and we have to carry our base. Then we have a two plus zero, zero comes down, and carry our base. And then we have three, but we know there's no such thing as three, so we say two plus one, one comes down, and then carry. And here we got a two plus zero, zero comes down, carry, and one. And that is the answer to this question right here. Now, I'm gonna repeat doing it, but I'm gonna do it a little faster, okay? In our first pass, this was our answer. Let's see if we can recreate this just going at a normal speed now. So we know a one and a one is a two plus zero, so I'm gonna bring a zero here and carry a one. So here we got three, we know that's two plus one, carry. Here we have two plus zero, zero, carry. Here we have a two plus one, carry. Here we have a two plus zero, carry. Here we have a two plus zero, carry. Here we have a two plus zero, carry. Here we have a two plus one, carry. Here we have a two plus zero, carry, and one. So one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and notice that we have a, kind of like three zeros here in the middle, right? And then a 10, 10. So you see that you can go pretty fast using this technique, and it's quite simple. You just have to remember the carry, and that's how you add binary.